In Chartmill, there are numerous predefined chart settings available that you can use to view the results of your scans. However, it is also possible to set your own preferences and make use of personalized settings so that the stock screener can better suit your specific needs. And I'll show you how exactly to do so in this video. My name is Christoph. Welcome to Chartmill. We'll start with some chart settings for multiple time frames that you can easily access later with one click. Let's start with a long-term chart setting. Make sure you have selected the stock charts page and choose any ticker. Set the time frame to weekly. Choose best fit to as the time period. Now click on the blue plus sign and click in the overlay box. Then select the chart mill trend overlay. If desired, you can also add an indicator that will be displayed by default. For example, I choose the RSI indicator by clicking in the indicator field. Press the letter R on your keyboard several times and select RSI as soon as you see this indicator appear in the list. You can read more about the use of the chart mill trend indicator and the RSI indicator in separate articles of which I'll add the links in the description below this video. Your chart should now look like this. Next we are going to save this layout. You do so by clicking on this little floppy disk icon and in the next screen give this configuration a name. I choose long term view here. Finally click save. We now use exactly the same procedure for a medium and short term chart. So for the medium chart clear the indicator field and use the following settings. Time frame daily, period best fit 1 and I then add a simple moving average 200 in a blue color. I also add the simple moving average 50 in an orange color. And finally, adding the exponential moving average 20 in a green color. And of course, you can choose whatever color you want to each uh, moving average. For more information on using moving averages in your trading strategy, you can read more in the documentation section on the website. I link below the video. And as an indicator, I add the average true range. And also for this indicator, I'll place the link to an article with more info below. To save this layout, once again press the diskette icon, give it a name, in this case medium term view, and hit the save button. Finally, we create an individualized chart setting for the short term. To do so, you can use the following settings. Time frame 1 hour, period 1 month, and in this example I add as overlay the Bollinger Bands, and as an indicator the slow stochastics and separate articles of both the Bollinger Bands and the Slow Stochastics are available on the website, links in the description below. Then save these settings in the same way as in the previous two examples. I choose Short Term View. You can now access these safe chart settings from the Stock Charts or the Stock Screener page. For the Stock Charts page, again select any ticker and click on this map icon, which will allow you to load one of your newly created chart settings. For example, if you choose long term view, you'll immediately see the weekly chart with the chart mill trend overlay and the RSI indicator, just as you created and saved it earlier. And you can also open the chart settings from the stock screener, choose the tab main chart, after which you can load the desired chart settings in the same way. Chartmill allows you to use one of your own saved settings as default chart setting. This means that you, when you open the chart of any ticker, it will default to those specific chart settings. Let me illustrate this with an example. Suppose you want the medium term view to be the default chart settings every time you open a chart. You can do that in two ways. The first method, click on your name at the top right and select my account. Then go to the chart settings. Next to the chart setting, medium term view, click on the arrow on the far right. Now set this view as default. As soon as you open the chart of any ticker, you will see the layout that corresponds to the medium term view. But there is also a second shorter way directly from the stock charts or stock screener page. Click on the folder icon to load one of your personal chart settings and put a check mark next to the chart settings that should open each chart by default. In this case, choose the long term view. Whenever you pull up a chart now, the layout will default to the long term view.
This is a very useful option to quickly compare, for instance, the weekly chart with the daily chart or intraday chart. This is also possible on both the stock charts and the stock screener page, and the procedure is similar for both ways. First, change the view by pressing the arrow in the horizontal blue bar next to View. From the drop-down menu that appears, select two charts. Now you can use the tabs Main Chart and Secondary Chart to determine which settings should be displayed for both charts. In this case, I choose from the main chart the intermediate view and for the secondary chart the long-term view. This way I get to see both the daily chart and the weekly chart of the same stock and I can easily compare both timeframes. On the stock screener page you can do exactly the same. Again, I choose the view two charts and then set for the main chart the short-term view and for the secondary chart the intermediate view. This way I get to see the hourly chart on the left and the daily chart on the right of one single stock. Those who prefer to see the larger time frame on the left and the shorter one on the right can easily swap the settings. And also for that two charts view you can set a complete default view. The procedure is completely the same as we showed earlier for the standard view of the main chart. The first option is to work through the personal account again by clicking on your name in the top right corner and use one of your chart settings as secondary default. The secondary default here refers to the secondary chart. But also in this case things can be done a bit faster in the following way. So suppose you would like to see the medium term and long term chart settings by default when you select the view two charts. And you can do this either from the stock charts or the stock screener page. Select the main chart and click on the map icon and put a check mark next to the option you wish to set as default, in this case the medium term. Next select the secondary chart and again click on the map icon. Now choose long term view as your default by clicking once in the square next to it so it turns yellow. Now when you select two charts as a view in the stock charts or stock screener page, you will get to see the intermediate view on the left and the long term view on the right. A final option we will discuss is the view settings tab. To do so, go to your personal account page by clicking on your name at the top right corner. In the next screen, select the tab view settings. And for this video, we will only use the option default view charts. Open the drop down menu. And from the list that appears, there are two options that are important in this video about specific chart settings. For example, if you immediately want to see two charts of the same stock as soon as you open a ticket, you can choose the option two charts. Or you can even choose two charts and description, which means that besides the two charts, you'll also see some standard information appearing at the right side of both charts. For example, if I set two charts and description as the default view and I enter any ticket on the stock charts page, let's take GM, you will by default be presented with the daily and weekly chart along with the most recent price information on which the stock exchange the stock is listed and to which sector or industry it belongs. Also the technical setup and fundamental chart mill ratings are part of it. Via the view settings tab, even personalized custom views are possible, but those will be covered in a separate video. So that concludes this video. As you undoubtedly have seen, the view options are very extensive and you can fine tune them to even better suit your specific needs and strategy. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like and it would help us a lot if you subscribe to this channel. And don't forget the notification bell if you want to be updated as soon as new videos are available. So thanks for watching, see you next time.